Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the November 2019 experiment. Come with me to the setup. All right, so we've got a retort stand, and we've got a special wooden strip. All right, you can see six holes, numbered one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to use this apparatus right, to determine the value for the acceleration of free fall. Now we want to, to take special note right, of how the value of L is measured. Right, as you can see, we're supposed to measure L from the horizontal line until the top of the hole. Right, we'll do that later. L is to be recorded to the nearest 0.1 cm. We will only be recording one value of T for each length. All right, and what is T? All right, T is the time taken to complete 10 cycles. All right, and we're going to record T to the nearest 0.1. 0 0.01 seconds. Okay? Now we're ready. All right, let's take a look at the measurement of L. We use a plastic ruler. Zero mark at the horizontal line. All right? And we place our ruler in position. Alright, so if you're looking at the zero hole one, alright, measure hole one, can you see that? Alright, we're measuring the distance all the way to the top of the hole, alright, and you see that's 24.0 cm. Now what about hole two? Alright, with the ruler still in place, alright, same position, at the top of the second hole, you see that the reading is 19.7 cm. Alright, now we're ready with that. We're ready to begin our experiment. So we have a cock. We have a pin. So we start with hole one. I'm going to stick the pin into hole one. All right, and then we're going to place it into the cock. Now, come over here and see. It is important that when we do so, all right, there's sufficient gap between the cock and the wooden strip. Right, so that we avoid a situation where the wooden strip is rubbing against the cock in this manner. We don't want that to happen right, because it introduces unnecessary friction into this motion. Right, so we want to position the wooden cock so that it is a sufficient distance away. Sorry, the wooden strip so that it's sufficient distance away from the wooden cock. Right, we get ready to count. 10 oscillations. All right, we start by displacing the wooden strip by about 2 cm and let it go. Now, it's not necessary to begin timing immediately. I will use my pen right, as a reference point of the extreme position of the oscillation. When I press the stopwatch, I'm going to say start. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven point three seven. I'm going to record that down. Eleven point three seven. Next, insert the pin into hole two. Same as before, right? Ensure that there's a gap, right, between 
the wooden cork and the wooden strip. Get ready our stopwatch. Get ready the oscillation. And my pen as a reference point. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven point zero six cm. So, sorry, eleven point zero six seconds. Now, at this point, I want you to observe this motion. All right, I'm going to get it oscillating again. It's quite obvious all right, that there is a lot of uh, rubbing of friction against the pin. All right? So there's a lot of friction between the pin and the wooden strip. All right? You can see that quite clearly for yourself. All right, so one source of error that we want to address right, is the friction between the pin and the wooden strip. So let's now repeat the experiment all right for hole 3 now i want you to observe a pattern do you see the time measured was decreasing 11.37 11.06 10.78 and all of a sudden we see that the time increases once more 10.97 at this stage all right sometimes uh, it is tempting to think that something has gone wrong or right, if you want to confirm all right the best way to confirm is to repeat the experiment all right for hole 4 let's repeat the experiment we don't have to record it all right but we just want to be sure because it seems like something is fishy. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, almost exactly. Ten point nine seven again. All right, so we are pretty certain that the data we have, right, is correct. Alright, so let's try for hole 5. So from our data today, right, you can see that it is important right, that we record accurately the data that we uh, observed. Right? Uh, you'll see later, right, when you complete the table, right, and remember, we complete the table horizontally, right, so if I have time 11.37, right, I square it, right, it gives me 129.3, right, 129.3, suppose to record it to 0 0.1 seconds, now, I shouldn't stop here, all right? Continue filling in the blanks, all right? So T squared, I want to multiply by L. Multiply by 24, all right? My answer will be 3103 to the nearest whole number, all right? What about L squared, all right? 24 squared. And I get five, seven, six. Okay, so you see we fill in the table row by row. We use the calculator's value in the calculations, but we record according to the instructions that are given to us. All right? So we've discussed two possible sources of error. One had to do with the friction right between the pin and the wooden strip right so a suggestion to improve that 
is to dip the pin in some oil so as to reduce the friction between the pin and the wooden strip. Another source of error, right? So you notice that in this case, we only record one value of T for each length. Right? In fact, just now we weren't sure, right? We, rec we in fact repeated that experiment, right? For whole four, right? Because uh, human reaction error, right? In introduces some random error, right? So when we repeat and take the average, right? We reduce the random error, right? We become more certain about the data that we have collected. All right, so with that, that's our November 2019 experiment. Thank you.